hit real hard. But the fact, you know, touching on the point that you you all decided to honor honor Virgil, um, you, I don't know if you know, but I'm from Chicago originally, and um, you know, I was I was part of the whole origin of the house music scene when when yes, things were you know coming together, and all of that that sort of um, that generation after me, be it you know Twilight Tone, uh, Virgil, Kanye, Common, they all a little bit younger than me. But, um, you know, they don't always get, in my opinion, or we don't always get, in my opinion, the recognition or the, the, the notice that um, what we do is relevant and significant and we have a voice. Now, let me just for a moment touch on Chicago and, 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 and you know, a place that I'm very proud to be from. You know, Quincy Jones is from Chicago. You know, uh, uh, the Art Ensemble of Chicago, Earth, Wind & Fire, um, the list goes on, Minnie Riperton, the list goes on and on and on of, of music that influenced us um, and carried us to where we are now in terms of music. Um, but it never gets talked about collectively that Chicago actually has born and bred uh, uh, a lot of talent, people. international. Yeah, but also that can be recognized on a national platform, which I don't, international platform, I mean, which I don't believe we really get collectively. And for Virgil to be where he is now, um, you know, running one of the top houses in all of fashion and to be a man of color, an African, uh, but also reared and, and developed a lot of what made him what he is today. Chicago had a lot to do with that. Um, so I'm proud of him um, for, for his accomplishment. And I don't think he really gets the proper recognition, especially from us, from the people who, you know, there's a lot of division and divisiveness that occurs in um, um, the, the African community, African-American community more so, um, where we are, I mean, I don't see it so much in Europe. I see when I'm in Paris or I'm in, in Italy or in England, you know, everybody's like, big up, big up. But over here, it's, it's all divided. It's all chopped yeah. up. And Virgil never gets really talked about in these positive conversations. You know, like him or not, like what he does or not, he's somewhere many have never been. And it so up. I think what you've done is put that in a, in a time capsule. You know, 25 years from now, we can listen to that song. And, you know, regardless of whatever happens, that you can't change what Virgil has done, where he yep. is. And that's why I like what you did with that record. Thank you, brother. Thank you very much. For that. And, I, and I appreciate your call sign on this because it means 100%. a lot since, you know, you, you I mean, brother, I, 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 I recall stunning conversations that we've had together about you sharing the, this era where you actually were with, you know, the kiss iron to Basquiat and all, you know, that whole era, you witnessed that, you witnessed the greatness and, and these... I would say forefathers of what we are seeing now, you right. know, and, 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 and we're able to do um, what we do as a result of their contribution and their sacrifices as well. Absolutely. And also, too, I think, um, you know, people like Basquiat and, you know, like Futura, a lot of the guys that I was able to, you know, come into contact with in the 80s in New York. Um, I left Chicago in the 80s and moved to New York and happened to fall right in the middle of that scene without even knowledge or a preconceived concept of where I was, what I was, I just knew I was going to look for something that I wasn't finding in Chicago and yeah. ultimately was looking to go around the world. But New York changed my life. And it's funny you touch on that specific era. Um, what they did was set a standard. Um, like my brother, Ron Trent, you know, he and I have, have had endless conversations. He was very influenced by that. And he, he set a standard for a lot of what people are doing in, in, in dance music, not only from Chicago, but globally, but he pays attention to, to that. And that's one of the reasons why he and I connected is because he had a zeal and a fondness for that particular period. And again, like you said, where we are now and what we're doing now, what we're able to accomplish, it's, it's, um, it's being um, looked upon or, or judged, rated on, on that level. You know, um, yes, it's a high standard to you know, and let me say, let me just say, you know, I'm, I'm, I pursue creative endeavors, you know, to a great deal. I'm working on a couple of records, you know, during this quarantine. Some I'm happy with, um, but you know, it, it's people like yourself and Oshun Lade and Louis Vega and 
you know, Jeff Mills, all these guys that really influenced me, that inspired me, that I think are absolutely incredible. I mean, you guys are giants.